Goliath getting very close to his own tranquility, and you're going to have no fire. He's going to have his sound barrier as well. So we'll see if they can use either of these support ults to get back towards the point. Yeah, big opportunity here. They do have the slight upper hand with those ults. Baby Bay is going to pop tack visor and just not really be able to shoot it all that much. There goes the meteor strike from Jaru right on top of Baby Bay, but not before he was able to take out fire there. Self-destruct is out as well, and Kungarna once again are just looking good. I mean, they're still hanging around this point. They are going to have the tanks to support. They are going to be able to push them out unless Jaru's going to have anything to say about that one. McGravy's kind of poking in the distance, and they're still maintaining themselves here. Primal Rage is going to be out. Goodbye. One of those players actually jumped down there as well, and uh, this is going to be a flip, but look at that 96% gain. Yeah, they so, did a lot of damage. Get a pick, then you can use both of those support ults to get right back to the point. Dive right into, into the back line, perhaps. And there he goes. He's going to drop Pulse Bomb. He's going to take out two Fire and Saney. And that's exactly what you wanted, X. You said it before. Can Michael make that play happen? As he dives right in, gets two kills. And now it's just going to be Jaru with the Meteor Strike. Looking to come down, land through. That's going to force out the Transcendence. But they're going to clean him up with relative ease. And maybe some staggers. Maybe some players coming in here. But that health is just going to whittle down. Sound Barrier's out. And Kungarna be very well done from them. And because, you know, that Pulse Bomb comes in from Michael Saney to get back to the point, has to switch over to D.Va, you never got any use of the Graviton Surge there, so. but Envision still able to hold on to the point. Now Baby Bay they falls have here with 93%. Jaru still has his Dragon Blade, has not decided to use it yet. If you see Kungarna get back towards the point, he's going to cause chaos with it. Yeah, that cool. Definitely hurt. Here comes McGravy with the Pulse Bomb. Maybe looking to dive into the back, take out Bishu before he can get back to the mech, but he's just going to leave the handy little Pulse Bomb there to just bring down that health. There goes Jaru with the Dragon Blade as well. Three down. Well, you know, might as well have three with that Diva taking a seat. It seems like Kungarna not to be outdone. They're trying to stay alive in this fight. But it will be Envision who managed to stand tall here as overtime will be in effect. And Envision are going to take Village here. One to one, we're all knotted up. To Dogman, and they're trying to force back the Diva. Meanwhile, Envision are able to get that first possession here. So this is already a strong start for Envision. Well, it's a lot like what the desk talked about as well with the calculated dives coming out for Envision. They're able yeah. to get Baby Bay out of the equation. Then they jump right on a Dogman. They get him out as well. It'll be two kills here going in favor of Kangarna as they jump right onto the point, fighting back. Now, Kangarna really wants to get back onto this point here. They're going to have to use that sound barrier to keep them in this engagement. And so far, so good. They do manage to get the D.Va right back into the action. Here comes Remix, though. Trying to be a nuisance, forcing people out. Will chase him down. And Kangarna getting the kills. They're looking to make this flip happen. And they do so. And on the oh, You have your own transcendence as well. And Goliath opens things up with a big kill there on a poop. So you know you get their Lucio out of the equation. You open things up with your own transcendence. Yeah, you already have that man advantage going into the fight. When does Jaru decide to pop the Dragon Blade here? He's looking for the prime opportunity. And I think they just want to wait for this Primal Rage to go down so that he can, you know, have that leeway to be able to do so. So close to being able to make the flip happen. Now we're going to be in overtime. And here comes the Dragon Blade. Pushes everyone out. They still haven't made the flip happen quite yet, though as Jaru cuts through a couple folks, but still, they have control onto the point. They make the flip happen in overtime, and it was just as you said, X. Yeah, and you see the attack buys are coming in there late from Baby Bay. You know, you had a lot of your players fall, and you don't have anybody else there, so now you're not going to have that if you're Kangarna, probably for the rest of the game here. So 97 97% here. Bishu trying to get back towards the point. He gets Voop back, not oh. able to get back on. Nice. So he'll be Envision taking map number one. Good job from Envision. Oh. Back, yeah. Gain some health here, but they lose Remix at the beginning of this fight. Envision, you know, not playing this super aggressive, playing this a little bit more passive. They get two picks. The Gravy now in the back line, trying to put a lot of pressure on Goliath and Fire. On the other side of things, though, it is Envision picking up all of these kills, getting on the point. It's a clean take here from Envision. Yeah, that first pick losing out on Remix so quickly really just hurt them. They were able to get on there. still. They haven't quite got it to where they want it to be. There goes the, the EMP coming through, and although Jaru was able to take him out right away, they don't have the ability to use their abilities here. Gravy with the Pulse Bomb now. He's looking to dive in. Could he find the Winston and make him a victim yet again? Three down now, and now you're going to see Envision start to push this forward. There goes the last-minute contest, but it won't matter because they are able to yeah, get that aggressive second. because Baby Bay takes out fire here. You have the advantage. Now they're going to have those two men down, and with 10 seconds remaining, Kungarna, the tables have flipped. There goes the Pulse Bomb, drops through, doesn't get a kill, but the Transcendence is going to be out as well. 
Now we're going to be into overtime here any second now. The Diva Bomb comes through, and that's going to have to prompt people to go away. Ends up getting the kill there on a McGravy. Now it's just going to be Lucio and the Diva working in tandem to make this happen. Here comes Winston as well. Numlock wanting to stay alive, and Fire is just not, you know, really getting into the line of fire here. But he manages to drop the beat in the meantime. Keeps his teammates going in this fight as Jaru is just cutting everyone up with a Dragon Blade now. But again, that spawner's advantage is there, X. So I just don't know if they can hold this one off. Yeah, they buy Jaru enough time to get the Dragon Blade fire with his own sound barrier, but it may not be enough. You have Dogman switch over to the 76 at the end, just to give them a little bit extra hold damage. Dragon Blade, you had to use both support ults here, so can Garna coming in the next fight, you will have Sound Barrier. The other team has no support ults to sustain through it. And Baby Bay takes out Jaru here. So now you know that the Dragon Blade's not, not in play. If you're Pingarna, you can go right away here. You have that Sound Barrier to open things up. Let's see if McGravy will be a playmaker, but the beat has been dropped now. Just targets right into the back, but Dogman manages to stay alive in that one. Saini, though, follows it up right away. Dogman was in a bit of a pickle there, so he wasn't able to stay alive. Kangarna picks up the kill onto Saini as well, looking to just disrupt them all over the place in Vision with that Primal Rage. They're going to have two members hanging around the point, though. It will be the Diva as well as the Tracer. Really want those supports to get back into the action, though, as Remix dies up top. Push people back here. Bishu low on health as well. But Baby Bay able to get the kill onto Goliath. And now you just see a sea of blue as Kangarna have swarmed the point. Numlock goes into the action, but he has no health to stay alive in this one. And Kangarna, they're bullying people out of there. But there goes that Diva Bomb to try and push people away for the time being. Baby Bay picks up yet another kill. He's doing a lot of work there on the McCree. Yeah, and it was big kills from Baby Bay. He was able to take out Goliath, who was getting very close, you know, playing in that high ground towards a Transcendence Fire. He has a sound and, and Vision's defense here has really been great. Just not letting Kangarna get their footing. The constant aggression, and you see Kangarna have to answer back with, the, with equal aggression, right? Because they need to get that payload past the underpass. And they're getting kills. They're stopping them. They're also going to have an advantage with the ults. Well, Envision knows that they don't have any support ults. You can use your sound barrier just like that. And then Jaru has his Dragon Blade, if need be. They oh, are pushing man. Kangarna all the way back. A tremendous defensive effort here for Envision. They got to get back there, and they can't do it in time. Envision get two. What an incredible hold there from Envision, man. That was That was very impressive stuff. Yeah, I mean, with such a great hold on the first point for them to unlock the payload, if they get in there before that gate even op even opens, it takes a few seconds for that gate to open yeah. the payload to progress. And they're able to just force yet another Dragon Blade. We'll see how Envision goes about this. You know, with that 76, look for him to control the high ground. It'll be Goliath taking out Dogman here right at the start. Let's see if Envision can take advantage of that early pickoff. Yeah, well, they managed to do so because they have a huge man advantage going into this fight. They d the D.Va, they have control, they're close to getting the second tick, they end up making it happen. No one can get back, and that is going to be the cap. Envision push, right. get Doomfist in there, be a disruptor. And they know that he's back here. There goes the Pulse Bomb, drops through. Does he get a kill? No, but they are gonna be able to follow it up right away. So some good timing there from Kungarna as Baby Bay uses the Tac Visor and pushes them right back into the right building, forcing them out of the action now. And as they come out, they're just going to get shredded by all the gunfire on the side of Kangarna. Now this is a position that I'm sure that they're very happy with. Well done, you know, whatsoever. Transcendence for Dogman here. Diva self-destruct, pushing everyone down. A couple members are going to be without their tanks, but they are going to drop the beat to keep them alive here in the fight. Numlock with Primal Rage forcing people back, and oh, Dogman, he's going to be in a bit of a pickle here. But can he stay alive? He's been known to do this in the past. No, Michael is going to get the better of the dog on that one. And now it's just a matter of clearing these players out, making some progress, and getting to that first tick at the very least here. Yeah, Kangarna uses the Transcendence up top to get through towards that high ground. And then Dogman, when he falls, Jaru lands right on top of his head with a Meteor Strike. But it is Kangarna still in this fight. Remix using the Primal Rage, Baby Bay using the Tac Visor. It's Kangarna getting very close to setting a fantastic time here on their attack on Hanamura. Yeah, spawner advantage though. Gotta always keep that in mind. They will have players coming out and McGravy out of the gate with that Tac Visor. <laughs> he just does not want to deal with any of these members, forcing them back. Michael in the back line as well. So they are going to have to worry about that one. But Kungarna, despite the tack visor, doesn't really get much with it. He's just going to, you know, force them back for the time being. Baby Bay continuing to apply damage down. 
They don't have the D.Va, and I think now this is when you realize, okay, this is not a push that will work out, and Baby Bay has to get back into the action here. He's getting staggered now. So they have this a... transcendence at the right time for Kangarna, and he's going to pop it now. Pops it really early into the fight now. There goes the South Barrier for Envision in turn because they're going to have that little advantage timing that one versus the Transcendence. They know that it popped. Now Bishu, he's forced to use a Diva Self-Destruct, but it is going to be on the point, and it will get the kill there onto Goliath, who was very close to picking up the Transcendence. Jaru picking up the slack, though, gets a couple kills before he gets shut down by Remix. And Michael... Oh boy, he's just hanging out here. He knows that there's just no room for him to be able to push. All the members of Envision got back there, and with 26 second X, this is not a good spot for Kangarna. It, it's going to be damn near impossible, Alex. You don't have any support alts. You don't have, you know, your attack visor right now, and you're going up against a self-destruct, a transcendence, any attack visor for the side of Envision. Kangarna has to go now, but this does not look likely. Waiting for the prime opportunity. Pressure's on. Match point here. If Envision wins, they will go up 3-1. There goes the Transcendence now. Are they going to use that Tac Visor as well? No, never... no one gets to it because they're just forced out of it. Michael couldn't get there in time. And that is going to do it. Envision get three points they get to use there on that first you know, attack. So now you see Kangarna getting a little bit aggressive. It'll be Jaru using the Dragon Blade here for Envision. He's able to get one. McGrave able to take out Baby Bay. If you get you know, Dogman and Baby Bay out of the equation, you like the chances for Envision to keep moving the payload. Yeah, and you have to force out the Primal Rage there from Remix so that he can continue to contest it, but they don't really worry too much about it. They just continue to shred through that health and stop him in his tracks. Look at that. Now he's staggered. They're right there. They're looking to get this and payload. Garnet gets the kill onto McGravy, pushing him back. They're in this room, and now they pop the beat as well as the Transcendence again. As soon as he got it, he was just not in the best of positions health-wise there, and they end up using both of those to stay alive in this fight. They're getting the kills finally but you know they layered both of those ults together and they're you know they're gonna get it but still it's just like one of those things that i'm sure that they would like to have back where at the very least use a, a bit more effectively Quick there enough to get the beat there goes the diva bomb on the other side oh it's just gonna knock back and really just do a lot of damage there but in any case though so. Envision, they're about to get this payload around the bend. They have two minutes and 18 seconds to work with on the clock. Tack visor for Baby Bay with the added shields of the sound barrier, looking to push them back as McGravy gets into the back lines. He has a very weak Winston there who's getting the heals, the Harmony Orb from the Zenyatta. So I don't think that was a fight that he knew that he was going to be able to win. But his teammates, while all that's going on, they go right back into it. And now the Transcendence is going to be in play. And this is a big opportunity for them to be able to make this one happen, to make that third point appear on the top of the screen for the Transcendence response in turn X. Yeah, but now Kagarna's going to have nothing to deal with this Dragon Blade when Jaru gets it again. So Vision trying to back out a little bit. Saini's going to get demacked. Be Jaru taking out Michael 90% towards this Dragon Blade. As soon as he gets it, he knows he has free reign over everybody on Kagarna. It's very true, unless, you know, Kagarna push it forward and make yeah, they that may not even need They it. may not even need the Dragon Blade. Pooks is just going to be lit up all over the payload. So get away from that. He's going to fall, forcing the blue team back here off of the point. Players coming out through the spawn, but it won't matter because they get the three points with one minute and 12 seconds Dragon remaining. Blade, Jared. Baby Bay looking for angles and again picks off fire. So no music for you. The music is dead today. But they're going to have theirs. Poops uses it to keep them alive. Michael gets a kill onto Saini before he can get back into the mech there. The D.Va self-destruct was used. Jaru looking for the shot. He makes it happen. But still, though, they got to get on top of that payload. And Goliath, he was really low on health. He uses the Transcendence to stay alive here. And now you have the Winston just all up on Baby Bay. Pushing him back, but Bishu immediately pushes it with that payload, or excuse me, with this Diva self destruct and gets the, the D mech, gets the kill, and just as all that's going Bishu on. Bishu will have both support alts and they'll have a pulse bomb. They're going to lead the way with their sound barrier. It's going to force the transcendence out on the side of Kangarna. Goliath now going to pop his transcendence, keep everybody up here for Envision. Yeah, as soon as he got it, he used it because he knew that that was going to be the tipping point for them on that, and it was really well timed. They get a bunch of kills over in the back of the staircase and Vision have lit up the kill feed. They dominate this one in 28 seconds on the clock. 
They're staggering Bijou here. They need to oh. just get back into the action as quick as they could. But if they lose out on D.Va, that is going to hurt. Yeah, and they're trying to just block the doorway, preventing him from going back to the spawn, switch to D.Va, get a new mech, and come right back. And now they're going to have to wait for Bishu. A few seconds left for him to come Ten off seconds. the respawn. We have to see if Kungarna can get back towards the payload. Poops, the only one getting close to an ult. It's going to be Saini throwing a self-destruct right at the door. I don't know if Kungarna's going to make it back. No, I don't think so either. And they are finally on it, though. Michael did go for that last-minute save, last-second save. But it will be Envision, who stop them in their tracks. No third point for you. They will take the game there. And that was a, a display from Envision. You know, the one just get... get